What's up everybody, it's your boy T-Sizzle back in the house and for today's video, I'm gonna talk about thirsty dudes. Now, thirsty dudes really get on my nerves. It really aggravates me when I see dudes act like this. Now, my definition of a thirsty dude is a guy that can't take a hint that a girl is, is not interested in them. You know what I'm saying? Now, usually how I approach a girl, now listen, not to brag or nothing like that, but I'll say 90% of the time, I always seem to get a girl's attention. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? But I'm actually telling the truth though. Don't be lying on me like that. You the one that's lying. Mm, oh my God. Stop fucking lying. But that 10%. You know, it's times where I've been rejected. Now, let's say that, you know, I go over to a girl and I try to start a conversation with her. And, you know, I say, hey, you know what I'm saying? Could I get your number or something like that? And she says, no, sorry, not interested. From that point on, there's no hard feelings about that. You know, I ain't gonna get sad or nothing like that. I say, oh my gosh, why she turned me down? I say, okay, see you later. I understand, goodbye. After that point, you know what I'm saying? I'm just done with the whole situation. Thirsty dudes, on, on the other hand, will still keep on trying to pursue the girl even though that girl rejected him. You know what I'm saying? Re you know, when, when somebody tells you no, that doesn't mean that you blow up her Facebook, blow up her DMs, blow up her Instagram. Hey, why aren't you texting me? Hey, hey, why are you ignoring me? Hey, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's like, you don't do that. Get the hint that she's not into you and move on. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I'll be on Facebook and like I'll see girls taking a screenshot of somebody in their DMs and some of these dudes be sending like dick pics to these girls and stuff. I'm like, dude, what is wrong with you, man? You know what I'm saying? Like these dudes literally be sending like dick pics and you know what I'm saying? Blowing up they, they messages to, to where the girl has to put them on blast. Like it's just embarrassing being a male and seeing stuff like that. It's like you're telling me that you, that you messaged this girl like 50 like 50 messages and then you send her a picture of your penis. It's like, what is wrong with you, man? What is wrong with you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't get the mindset of these kind of dudes, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And like, it's just to the point to where it's embarrassing being a male when you see stuff like this. Like there's IG models, bro, literally on Instagram where they have like a little link that you click on and literally that you pay them to talk to you. Like literally, like there's a link that you click and literally you pay you pay that model some money just to FaceTime you or talk to you on the phone and there's dudes paying that stuff. These girls are being self-made entrepreneurs just by having guys wanting to talk to them on the phone, paying maybe like 30, 30 bucks an hour to talk to them on the phone or some shit. I'm like, are you serious? You got dudes paying girls just to talk to them on the phone and FaceTime. I'm like, wow, bro. Like, these dudes have no pride as being men, bro. <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, like, I wish I would pay a girl money just to talk to her on the phone or FaceTime, bro. I mean, like, like who, who does stuff like that? You know what I'm saying? Like, these dudes just have no pride as being a male. A lot of these dudes um, will see a pretty girl and don't know how to react to it. Like, they'll see, like, a girl that's, like, an 8, 9, or 10 walk by, and, and they'll be like, damn, oh, my God, you so fine, oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, listen, girls don't like stuff like that. They don't like guys that's, you know, that over-compliment them. Like, I'm not saying that you can't give them a compliment, but if you're overly doing it, if you're, you know what I'm saying? There's every five seconds. Oh, you're so fine. Oh, you're so this. Oh, you're so that. Girls don't like that, and they're going to perceive you as thirsty. You know what I'm saying? I'm somebody to where if I see a girl and she looks good, I'll say, hey, you know what I'm saying? You look nice today. You look good today. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe, you know what I'm saying? I'll, you know, I'll kind of put, you know, some uh, flirtatiousness in there, and I'll be like, Damn, girl, you looking good today. But that's only that's only after I get to know the girl after a certain period of time. Like, after I get to know the girl after a certain period of time, then that you can kind of escalate the compliment and say certain things differently. But when you first meet a chick for, for the first time, you don't say nothing like that, you know what I'm saying, until after you get to know over a period of time, you know what I'm saying? It's just ridiculous how these dudes are, man. You know, like like some of these girls that's like super fine get all these dudes trying to, you know, trying to talk to them and stuff like that to the point to where that makes them get very prideful 
and now now they feel like they're better than everybody because all these dudes be trying to hit them up, be trying to, you know what I'm saying, talk to them. And it's like, you know what I'm saying, now this girl's full of pride because all you thirsty dudes is over here hitting her up every five seconds. Now this girl thinks she's better, better than everybody. You know what I'm saying, which my next video will probably be talking about stuck up girls because that's how some girls end up being stuck up from guys like that. I'm somebody that will acknowledge that a girl looks good. You know, I've seen pr plenty of nice looking girls, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'll see her, see that she looks good. Maybe, you know what I'm saying, I'll make a move. But how I go about doing it is in a way of being a gentleman and having class about it. And you know what I'm saying, most of the times I actually get the girl to be interested in me because I'm not thirsty. I come at it with, you know, a sense of being a gentleman, uh, you know, with adding a tad bit of humor in there and, and it's pretty much just, just having a good vibe. Just having a good vibe to be able to conversate with her and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Never do I, you know, go crazy or just or just lose my sense of being myself just because she looks good and do anything for her just because she's fine, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't do that, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, to all the thirsty dudes out there, stop being thirsty. Take your pride back as a man because you guys be doing stuff to the point to where it's embarrassing, man. I mean, what is wrong with y'all dudes, man? Anyways, man, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, follow my music channel, you know what I'm saying? Because I'll be trying to drop a song maybe once or twice a month, maybe even more than that. I don't know. My plan is, man, by either June or July, I should be dropping a mixtape. Go ahead and check it out when I drop it. I'm out of here, you deep.